Welcome back to Let's Play God of War. I'm Burning Dog Face. And last time, we defeated the Valkyrie Gerdrifel. Oh, I guess this does lead back out there, huh? I was thinking that through. I just wanted a really nice uh, bookend for the episodes. <laughs> oh, no. I'm probably going to have to use that. Okay. Where even is this? Oh, yes, okay, okay. All right, fine. Doo -doo -doo. I did have a comment of it uh, in there somewhere. Let me see. Oops. <laughs> Alright. Shout out to Elthwar, who informs me that Gerdriffle's name means Spear Flinger. But, uh, she's only mentioned in the... And I'm not actually sure how to pronounce this word, because one of the characters is a P and a B at the same time. Uh, she's only mentioned in the Nafnabular. Nafnapular? Which is a big listing of names, so there isn't much more known about her. I like that. It's a fun detail. Okay. Since I have to use the portal anyway... We're just gonna drop off the helmet immediately and not carry it around with us like a crazy person. One of these days, we're going to go through the door, and we're going to be at, like, Disneyland or something. Man, what? Kratos gets all indignant because they took out the Tower of Terror since the last time he was there. Shout out to Derek Floyd, who said, uh... I am so glad that the Valkyries have mission markers for their helmet placements. There's one. I remember an old NES game called Eight Eyes, where the final boss was hidden behind a puzzle. You have to place uh, the eight gemstones you got from the previous bosses in a certain order to unlock the, uh, to the, the door. But any stone could go in any spot with no indication you have one in the right spot, and there were, to my recollection, no clues about the proper order anywhere, so there were about 16 million possible permutations. Jeez, I don't even need to... I don't, I don't think they have... I, li I love that story that's very NES era, but I don't think the, uh... The Valkyries actually have assigned seating. I think they just put the dot on any empty spot. Still, I saw this one first. Let's put it here. One of the cracked one. Maybe she hit it with a ranged attack so hard it fell over. Rest in peace, Scarecrowful. This is none other than Gerdrifold. The master of arms in Valhalla. Ooh. Responsible for arming and training Odin's in Heria. His what? His army come Ragnarok. The entire reason Valhalla exists, you see. The Ain Heria wait in the Great Hall endlessly, feasting, drinking, and fat. Ah, uh, fornicating themselves silly. Once Ragnarok begins, Odin calls them into service to fight on his behalf. Gerdry Fool had her hands full training that lot. I can believe that. Master of Arms? Hell yeah. She had like 50 different weapons. Although, dear God, I feel bad for anyone that had to be trained by her. I thought I saw one turn bright. Oh, I guess it was just the thing selecting it. You know, like that. 
Well, I guess I'll go in here and buy myself a skill. Let me see, one of these. Uh, sure, let's go with luck. I feel like I don't have a lot of that. Yeah, okay. I mean, that makes sense. He was all about the lightning. Nice. Hey, look at that. Okay, I'm going to... well, go, I guess. All of the reels, it's a circular arena. And the only ways out of it are B-prompts. I feel like this is where you fight Sigrun. Hey, Jason, there a boat just there? Yeah, what the hell? Let's go for a walk. Look around for treasures and hidden goodies I might have missed. Birds? I remember that. That was good. That's where the, uh, the thing was blocked off, and you had to be above it to see uh, the pot you needed to blow up. Must be windy over there. That bird isn't barely moving. Oh! There are walkways and plat uh, platforms and stuff on the mountain. I don't know that I can actually go there. Maybe they're just there to look cool. You know, I was thinking, actually, about the, uh, the lack of Hulk jumping in this game, and I found myself wondering if Kratos only has superhuman strength in his arms. Oh, hey, Sindri. If I can so afford that we thing go. yet. Uh, this one, this one, and this one. No! I am quite low on that. But. Hmm. Trying to will it to happen. But it's not. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's weird. I didn't get one from Niflheim. Ah, well. I mean, the axe pommel I've got is from the, the Thor, so... Oh, yes, missed echoes. Okay. Okay, um, come back when you need something. Sorry, okay. Sindri. Hi! Ah! What can I do for you two? All right, all right. Um, uh, resources. I don't know. Give me a Spartal High. Oh, 1,000 gold. Fine, fine. I feel so bad about that. I'm actually going to buy something I don't need. Was there more to discuss? <laughs> ah, dwarves. Oh, now it's, uh, turn the stick right, not up. Sure, sure, now I get it, yeah. That's totally consistent and sane. Oh yeah, the loud-ass music that only plays here, in this beach. Wait a minute! Oh shit, he is there! Oh! Okay. I kind of forgot about the troll. I'm not actually that like... I swear it looks like the Yodenheim town. But only for a second. What's that down there? Is that the door? That might be the door. So let me get this straight. There's the Temple of Tear. There's the hidden vault under the Temple of Tear. And now there's whatever this is. Oh yeah, it's over there. 
Pump those legs. If anger is what fuels you, try thinking of it as stomping on the face of the ground. Yeah, this looks like the place. Oh, the textures are a bit muddy. I don't know what's up with that. Tears ruin. This is it. We're inside. But what is this place? Your guess is as good as mine, little brother. I mean, you're the smartest man in the world. Maybe not as good, but... Oh, that would be rude to say. Ha! <laughs> mm, sorry. I mean, I'm not the smartest man in the world either. I'm just saying. Ooh, golden fucking... Should I shoot it? What? How was that noise? Why is there so much seaweed in here? I don't know what that is, but I think okay, that's a barnacle. And I've got fucking uh, animal life in here too. This is nonsense. It is nonsense in a way that I approve because it is very silly. Yeah, do the thing. <laughs> The Yosafar. The tree! We're underneath the realm travel room! Oh. But why is the floor on the ceiling? Those realm doors seem to mirror the ones above. Oh, shit! The floor is on the ceiling! You re have you I, I, have you just never been in a multi-story building before? Are you having trouble figuring out how a room can exist on top of another room? And I thought, wait, no, that doesn't make any sense. I've been there with him. But, no, no, the door is upside down and the floor is on the ceiling. This is weird. I don't remember anything. But, like... Uh, myths of gravitic uh, manipulation There's from any mythology. I don't know if they even knew that. I don't know that they even stopped to consider that gravity had to be a thing because stuff has fallen. Oh, oh, it's X on you. Up there, Tyr used the same magic to protect the Black Ruin. The clue we seek may be inside. Huh? Right next to the Udenheim door. Interesting. But can we reach it? Not from here. I don't. Is it an object. Oh, what's behind there? More seaweed. Uh. Seriously? No, I can't just climb up there. Uh. No, let's not actually throw that in there in case there's like the spirit of tear waiting for us. Oh. What in the hot damn? Does this ever stop? Holy... Well, one inner sanctum within another. Those tapestries. Looks like a more giant one. Whatever it's here did for them must have been big. I mean, by definition, yeah. They were giants, he was a god. Look at the texturing on this plant. It's all tiny and detailed and wrinkled. Now look at the texturing on this wall. I mean, okay, I guess it is a tapestry, but... I don't know! Give me a second. Well, I left all my graphics settings on original, so I guess it would have looked exactly like this on the PS4 if they did their job right. No, I'm not going to look up. That is a letter, not an arrow. I'm going to look up. Oh yeah, fuck, I forgot an achievement last time. Uh, achievement unlocked. Why fight it? Fully upgrade the Blades of Chaos. Ooh. Oh, hey, look. 
So close to worthy. Oh, I like that. As if the blades are the dark side path, and the axe is the light side path. You know, worthy, because it's a weapon you can throw that comes back to your hand. Huh? Huh? So they referenced the Marvel stuff, even though the Marvel stuff is A, not even accurate to the myths, and B, completely out of touch with this version of the story. Well, this must clearly be the legend of this Vailog the Fierce, showing off the world's first gazebo to his beloved. I keep hearing noises in the distance, and I don't like them. Like, what the hell is even? I know I'm supposed to go back there, but... Oh, it just leads back into this room. Okay. Okay, this is... Not at all what I expected. I was either picturing vault number two, dead guy. Vault number two, or... Honestly, I don't know. When I first walked in here, like, to that first room with all the gunk on the walls, I thought to myself, yeah, this is about right. It's a much smaller room than the vault, and Whoa. then we walked Who are they? through and... What? How is this here? How is there a dead reaver here, even? The Hall of Tear, as it was the Tear's vault. I mean, none of the art even shows him with one hand, my dude. Oh, it, oh, I can't. Are trolls giant kin? Did they get left behind? Oh no, he's wearing a waist guard, just like me. I only noticed because, you know, they're both made of gold at the moment. I'm gonna mm. be honest, I was gonna make a reference to WHAT ARE THOSE?! But he's not actually wearing shoes. Boy. It's a one. This is the rune for Jotunheim. <laughs> That's right. And look! We're on the other side of the door. The upside down door. What are you thinking? Stand back. Okay. There's totally a sand bowl right there. Like, right there. All right, I'm going to do the thing. Whatever it is. I don't even see a button or anything. What? It's moving. What's moving? Every <laughs> Oops. Sorry. Didn't want to interrupt them again. Everything. Oh my god. Extraordinary. The whole room is built on some kind of axle. Oh my god. There's chains on both sides. Without those... <clears throat> we can flip the temple. All right. Do what now? Are you kidding me? Uh oh, things are happening. Oh uh, no. Oh. Okay. I don't think they're attacking. Want me to read this one? Yeah. Go on. Read. Before the first, after the last. Nothing between, no shadow cast. Hmm. Ominous. The ice. Uh, oh, there was a word for that, and it had, like, a whole bunch of G's and U's in it. Like, Ningingopker, or something like that. Ningingopker. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking it's, like, the primordial ice that existed before Ymir and, uh will exist after Ragnarok if the Golden Age doesn't come? Boy, on the statues. I see them. It says Void. Ah, I was going to say Void. Now right. Alfred. 
Are you quite sure flipping the temple is the only way to reach them, whatever it is? You said there would be a path. The temple can be flipped. Therefore, we flip the temple. The logic is unassailable. Well, that looks very important. But I'm afraid the timer is gone. Sorry about all the faffing around. I'm still not convinced I'm not going to have to fight both of these things. But they don't have totems. Although I wouldn't be surprised if they just dropped from the sky or something. Actually, I think we can see the sky from here. Yeah. I think that's just sunlight. How deep does this go? I don't want to do that. Oh well. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play God of War. When we, uh, well, don't climb up this, clearly. This is very tall. Much taller than I thought it was. When we break these chains and then flip the entire building upside down, I guess. Might want to tell Brock and Sindri to hold on to their butts. <laughs> Wish me luck. Actually, that's not bad. Later!